Jockel, three clean sheets in the last three matches for yourself. It's, it's not been a bad week, has it? It's been a wow, what a crazy, what a crazy week it's been. It's been a, it's been a really good, solid week of three games. You know, we've been, you know, everything. You know, even with the draw against Walsall, we were we weren't happy with that because we knew we should have won. You know, even when we're happy, you know, of course we're happy with the clean sheet and you know, getting a point. But because we're just we're so confident right now, and we're such a strong team at the moment that. We knew even that game we should we should win that because we're just such a good team at the moment. So, but as you can see in the other games, you know, next game we knew you know, oh, we didn't score in that game. You know what? Let's go and let's go and you know, smash the other game. And that's what we did. You know, four nil, and now you know, game on you know, last game against Scunthorpe, two nil. You know, we've been we've been really we've been really solid so far, and hopefully we can keep keep that going. Perhaps coincidentally, it's coincided with you, with you uh, shaving your hair off. So, uh, it might, it might oh, geez. as I was saying, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. So, um, my my barnet is uh, it's been struggling for a couple of months now. I can't lie. And uh, the main reason why, all right, is because my hair kept getting in the way. And as as a goalkeeper, you kind of need to see the ball. So, um, yeah, I just I've got my uh, got my boy Stubbsy. Just thought, all right, go on, get the clippers out. And he just went for it. He was laughing the whole time. It didn't feel, I was very nervous. So uh, it wasn't a great feeling while I was doing it. But I've got to give it to him. He's done a, done a decent job. So I've got to give props to, props to Stubbsy. Yeah, it looks all right, doesn't it? Look, you said in, your, in an, an earlier interview this afternoon, you called the defence in front of you a rock. Uh, Rory and Alex Hartridge have been superb in the last three games, haven't they? They've been unbelievable. They've been like, and you know, it's uh, like the kind of best thing about it is because it's um, for me, I don't know, maybe in the past or something like that. For me, it's a new partnership, like on a regular basis, because normally, like I said, it's been swings or I've been having Parksy in front of me. And it's just like, it's just so great to see how well they're doing together and how they're bouncing off of each other. Like, I, you know, I'm always listening and I, I see the way they communicate to each other in games. And it's just so, it's so vital for a good partnership to have that communication, to have that connection, to, you know, to be a good defensive, you know, solid partnership because, you know, there's a reason why we've been keeping so many clean sheets in a row. It's, it's just, it's the, it's the whole, you know, whole organisation between the two of them and you know it's not it's not as well just them you know you know Pagey you know and Josh Key they've been brilliant as well so it's just the whole and everyone else you know the whole team you know Archie, Jake, everyone we've just been so solid together and you know that's why we've been getting we've been doing so well in the last three games it's just because it's just as a team we've been doing so well. How do you feel personally that, that you've been doing? Do you notice week on week a marked improvement on your performances? Um, yeah, because every time I play a new team, every time a new get there's a new game, I'm learning something. I'm experiencing something different because it's just still all new to me. You know, I'm still it's my first professional loan, and that's why everything is new. Like especially like with. I've said like in a in a tweet before where I said well I talked about my kicking and I wasn't happy with it. That's like something that I'm working on, and you know, and it's something that I need to work on because it's part of the game, you know. Especially when let if like for like last game I didn't have to make any saves. I need to make sure all of my other all my other attributes are good because that's what makes it a complete performance. It's the kicking, it's the crossing, you know. A goalkeeper doesn't. It's not all about just making saves. It's about all of the other little things that makes you a complete performance. And that's something that I'm driving on and that I'm working so hard on is completing my whole game. So, yeah, is uh, every game is, an, is a new experience. When you said that, you know, every game's a different team. Uh, Saturday, we come up against the league leaders. It's going to be an entirely different challenge, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's been a, it's going to be a, it's going to be a good game of football. I can promise you that because they're the top of the league. We're, we're, you know, we're such a strong team right now. It's going to be a good clash of two good teams. And like I've said, like in the other, in the other interviews, I feel more than confident going into the game 
that we can we can get the three points because I can I, I just see no reason why not because we're just such a strong solid team right now that we should be definitely the only thing that we should be thinking about is just winning the game. It's at, at our home turf, you know. There's no reason why we should be getting you know getting the three points. So I'm really confident going into the game. Finally, then you know you've been in a position at the start of your career that you're you're learning off more experienced goalkeepers. You're learning off the coaches, but I guess now that you're also giving your experience to Harry Lee, you know, in the last few weeks, he's, he's been on the bench. He's such a young kid. He's got a really bright future. And, you know, what's it like to, to be teaching someone younger than you while also learning it, yourself? Yeah, it's weird. It is weird because, you know, Harry, he's, uh, I can tell you that he's a special goalkeeper. I've been, you know, I've been talking to other people about him because, you know, he's, he's one for the future, 100%. But, you know, he's still he's still raw. He's still young, you know. And, you know, it is, I'm so happy for him as a young goalkeeper to do what he's doing right now with the first team because I'm, I never got to do that with Reading or something like that. So it's really important for him to keep on learning, to keep on, uh, to uh, you, know, you know, asking questions as well. Like, so why did you do that? Why would you do that? This and that. Because that's what that's what's going to get him to the next level is, you know, keep learning. You know, there's, you know, you can always learn as a goalkeeper, even though, you know, if you're 35, if you're 15, you know, you're always learning something new. So he's, he should still, he should keep going what he's, do, uh, what he's doing right now because he's definitely one for the future.